In that 31, I wanted to do section 2.1, number 53, using the app. Um, now that we're online, some of you folks might be using the app, uh, the app, I should say the iPhone app version for the TI-8384 and not the actual um, calculator, the physical one. And the app's a little bit different for how you, you make this work. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in my line, 3x plus 5. I'm going to put that binomial in parentheses. I mean, if you wanted to, you, you, again, you could have divided this through and done like 3 fourths x plus 5 fourths if you wanted to distribute that division by four, I'm just gonna clear that out because I don't need it. Now, it's hard to see because you can't see what hands I'm, I'm or what my hands are doing, but I'm gonna hit this graph button and I'm gonna undo this again just so you can see. If I hit my Y equals, all right, you see the Y equals up there on the left and immediately to the right of it is graph. So on the physical calculator, you frequently hear me talk about zoom sixing. So you might say, well, like, where's the zoom button on here? And if you look in the lower left-hand corner, there's the word zoom, and I'm going to put my finger on it right now. And you can see that zoom standard is the sixth menu item, or is it the sixth? Let me count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no, just kidding. It's the seventh in this one. So I'm going to hit zoom six, and that would give you I call them the, the 10 to 10. So it, on the x-axis, it goes from an x value of negative 10 to positive 10. And on the y-axis, it goes from a y value of negative 10 to 10. And this is asking us this question, number 53, is saying, hey, can you use your calculator and find the zero? And you can see the zero. I can, I can actually see it on my, my graph. I see it's close to x equaling negative 2. Now, Again, you, you can't see what my finger is doing, but I'm gonna just take my finger and I'm gonna touch the green line and you're gonna see uh, like a circle with a crosshair coming, uh, like a purple line. Now, I'm gonna take my finger and you can see that I can trace this line here, all right? And as I get close, you saw it go flash red for a second, right there. If you see it goes red, right? That's the app's way of telling you, hey, that's the y-intercept. And now when I do this on my phone, I'm on my iPad right now. When I do it on my phone, my phone actually shakes. So I can keep tracing this over to the x-intercept. And there's one way to get the x-intercept. It's at negative 1.667 comma zero. The other thing you can do is you can actually use the zero, uh, the zero calculator. So now if you look at the bottom right-hand corner of this screen, you're gonna see the word done. And if I go about two icons to the left, you see a little share icon, and then I go to the left and it says calc. This will pull up my calc options, and you can see the zero in there, right? And I can just, I'm literally using my finger to tap through all of these, but I'm going to start at my, my uh, at the zero, and then it's the same thing. It'll be left, right, and then I'll hit enter. So if I look at my x-intercept, I think it's a little bit, uh, I think it's, I, I think it's somewhere between, I should say, negative two and negative one, right? I know we just found that it's at negative 1.667, but I'm going to type in that the left bound is negative two and I'm gonna hit enter. And then I'm gonna say the right bound is negative one and I'm gonna hit enter. And even before I do that, you can see over there, it says the word zero and again, negative 1.66, well, repeating. But that's how I can find my zero. So again, you can use your finger to trace it, which I think is pretty sick. Like I don't have that on the regular calculator. Or you can use the calc function, right? So I hit calc and then I go to zero, enter my left and right bounds and I'm good to go. All right, thanks so much everyone, bye.